Well, welcome back for Tuned It Up Tuesday. This week, we've got a really cool experiment. I think you guys are going to enjoy this. I am going to do several videos using several different guitars in this experiment, just so we can get an actual idea of, of tone. But over the next couple of videos, what we're going to do is a stereo image of the guitar. We're going to use the Marshall TSL-100 and the PV-5150. I have these amps spread over about 30 feet apart and I have you guys set up in the center of the room. And hopefully this will give you guys a really good audio as to how these amps are separated as well as the stereo image that we can produce. I think it's going to be a fun experiment. Now I know most of the time we never have this much room if you're playing a small club or different things like that to get your gear set up. So like I said it is definitely an experiment and normally I run between the TSL 100 and the EVH and that's normally my rig sitting over here on this side of the stage and I do run through the helix and, and produce my stereo image there. I also run through the front of the PA quite a bit as well. Uh, that way if I'm out moving around uh, inside the crowd that we have I can still hear what I have going on. So again I think it's going to be a really cool experiment for you guys to be able to listen to the stereo separation of tone and I hope you like the video. Let's get started. Let's go over the gear we're going to use. In this corner we have the Marshall TSL 100 and in this corner we have the PV5150. Both of these are great sounding amps. Stand alone. They, they don't have any problem playing anything you want to play through them. Today's guitar is the Jackson's Pro Soloist. This is a great playing guitar. Uh, solid body, neck through, and I'll tell you what, these Seymour Duncans sound great in this guitar. I am also using my wireless today. That way I can get out here and move around a little bit and get between the two amps. Now I realize in most stage areas that you're going to play in, you're not going to have this amount of room. But again, we are separated by about 30 feet. And I have you guys centrally located about 35 feet away from the amplifiers. That should give us a good stereo image. Let's play this thing and see what it's going to sound like. We're going to start off on the Marshall. All right, I am in the clean channel. I do have the EQ set uh, all in the center for both amps. Let's see if we can bring this guy alive. All right, let's walk over now and grab the 5150 and bring it in. And now you should get a picture for the stereo image with both amps running. Alright, let's see what this Helix is going to add to the two amps now. A little bit of distortion. pretty good. Let's add some delay. distortion a little bit and see if we can make his tone a little bit fatter. I'm going to shut the PV off, we'll run the Marshall a little bit, then we'll bring the PV back online. That way you guys should get a pretty good idea of the stereo shape that we're going to create. Let me shut this amp down. Add some tube screamer. <laughs> Thank you. 
right, let's shut the marshal down. Get that whistle out of there. This will give you an idea of what the 5150 is making for us over here. now see what that sounds like to these guys Just a little bit different than the delay. The delay to me sounds a little bit fatter and I really hope the camera is picking that up because as soon as I turn one of the amps off and go to that mono signal and then back to the stereo side, wow. I mean it absolutely sounds like it's filling the room up in here. It sounds good. Big and fat. Let's try a little more. I'll tell you what, just a little bit of reverb. Let's see what reverb sounds like with this thing. comment what you think but I like the delay the best myself. I do like the uh, tube screamer engaged on this thing. Let's see what else we've got here. that was a pretty cool experiment spreading the tone over about 30 feet and again I hope you guys got a real idea as the stereo image came to you at the camera uh, this Jackson plays like a dream let me know in the comments which effect you prefer now the helix that's got pretty much any effect that I would ever need to run through it and to be honest with you I haven't really even experimented with that unit that much I mean there's there is a ton of stuff in this thing I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. You guys keep playing out there, and I hope you're having fun.